same small town. Wow. Uh, well, thank you to Adrian, a fellow teacher, for the kind introduction. And c can we give it up to three of the best public servants in America, Governor Tony Evers, Senator Tammy Baldwin, Congresswoman Gwen Moore, send Gwen and Tammy back to Washington. Hello, Milwaukee. I want to start tonight by thanking the love of my life, my wife Gwen. And I'm grateful to my two kids, Hope and Gus, for coming along on this amazing journey. And I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out. You could have been anywhere tonight. You, you all showed up here tonight because you love America. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, as, you probably, as you probably know, uh, there's a little election tomorrow. We get an opportunity tomorrow to shape the future for generations to come. We get the chance to elect a new generation of leadership and have Kamala Harris lead us in a new way forward. Now, now we're running like everything's on the line because it is. Look, what an incredible journey this last 107 days has been. Look at the movement that Kamala has built in that short amount of time. Now imagine what she'll do in four years. And I got to tell you, one of the best parts of this is she has brought back the joy to our politics. Look, this is a pretty amazing journey for me, too. A kid from Butte, Nebraska, and a kid from Oakland, California, now find themselves with the opportunity tomorrow to become the next president and vice president of the United States. I can't tell you how proud I am to be on this ticket with Kamala. From her very first day, from a prosecutor, to a district attorney, to the attorney general of the largest state in the nation, to a United States senator, and to vice president. She has had one client the entire time, the people of this country. This is a servant leader who stood up for women and children against predators and abusers. She stood up with seniors and workers against fraudsters and big corporate interests. And she stood with families and communities against transnational gangs and traffickers. And she never once hesitated to work across the aisle to improve the lives of Americans. When people came to her asking for help, she didn't ask if they were Democrat or Republicans. She simply said, how can I help? Now look, we get an opportunity together to build an economy that if you work hard, you don't just get by, you get ahead. And let's be, let's be clear about this. It does not matter if you're from a red state or a blue state, a big city or a small town. Everyone gets the shot to succeed in this country. That's a fight I'm proud to be part of. Look, I grew up in rural Nebraska, population 400, had 24 kids in my class a bunch of cousins in there. <laughs> but the thing you learn when you grow up in that small town is you understand what it means to take care of your neighbor. Same thing that happens when you grow up in a big town. You start to understand that your neighbors and it matters and we're all in this together, working towards the common good. 
Those are the values that animated Kamala and my service. That's the values that after tomorrow, we'll be able to take to the White House for the rest of this country. And you saw on the National Mall what a president looks like and sounds like. When she said she wants to be a president for all Americans, those who vote for us and those who don't. She and I both come from the middle class. We've lived this experience. We'll be relying on that experience every single day in the White House. That's why she said from day one, she'll be focused on lowering the cost of living for families and put more money back in the pockets of middle class Americans. An opportunity agenda that makes housing more affordable, makes it easier to start a small business, makes it easier to care for our loved ones, and yeah, make this country more free. When Kamala and I talk about freedom, we mean the people should be free to make their own decisions about health care and who they love, not politicians. The freedom for our seniors to retire with dignity by strengthening Social Security and Medicare. And yeah, as a teacher and a dad, the freedom to send our kids to school without worrying they'll be shot dead in their classroom. Look, Wisconsin, I know guns. I'm a veteran. I'm a hunter. Kamala's a gun owner. We know we can uphold the Second Amendment, which we've always done, while also upholding our first responsibility, our children and their safety. Let me speak to the guys in this room. I want you to think about the women in your life that you love. Their lives are literally at stake in this election. More than 20 states now have abortion bans, and our daughters and those loved ones you're thinking of now have fewer rights than their mothers and grandmothers. When Congress passes a law to restore the right to choose to make Roe the law of the land, President Harris will sign it into law. Because Kamala has said it, and we all know it, we are not going back. We are not going back, folks. So Milwaukee, I'm here today on behalf of Kamala Harris and myself to humbly ask you for your votes. Yeah. Elections tomorrow and we're not taking anything for granted. Look, I did it for too many years to pass up the chance on this one. We're in the last two minutes of this game. This thing's tied, but we got the damn ball. We got the ball. We got the best quarterback in Kamala Harris. And we got the best team with the people right here in this room. There's gonna be a time, folks, as we get that last yard done, as we get this thing over. But here's the thing, I'll tell you what. What an opportunity in our time to be living in this moment to be able to influence not just four years, but 40 years, to make a difference in people's lives, to improve their lives. And there's going to come a time for all of you. I know if you're young, you're not thinking it, but it will come. You're going to be sitting in that rocking chair on your porch, and you're going to be rocking away. And a little one's going to come up. They just came from school, where they're learning the history of the 2024 presidential election in the United States. And they're going to wonder, what did you do during that election when you protected the American experiment, when the rule of law held, when the Constitution was the law of the land, when dictators and division and darkness were thrown out, and unity and hopeful and a new way forward were in? When everything was on the line, 
When that little one asks you, what did you do during that election? You're going to be answer, able to answer every damn thing I could. Every damn thing. Twenty-four hours, Milwaukee, to a better future. Twenty-four hours to President Harris. Twenty-four hours to make a difference. So I know this state knows a little something about winning. So here's my ask of you. Wisconsin, win this thing for America. Let's go! Let's go!